Mateo Gonzalez. Lane two, Jacob Huerta. Lane three, Bryce Bowman. Lane four, Joseph Schooling. Lane six, or lane five, Trip Cooper. Lane six, Brett Ringgold. Lane eight, Matt Willenbring. Pardon me, that's Brock Benetti in lane number six, and Brett Ringgold in lane number seven. So this is just a stacked field all around Macklin. I mean, obviously we have the 2016 Olympic champion Joseph Schooling in lane four. But Trip Cooper and, sorry, I think it's Trip, right? Trip Cooper. He goes by Trip in lane five, is obviously a Texas standout from the past, really explosive athlete. And then you have Brett Ringgold, who was on some of the national championship relays, and then the recent Texas commit in lane eight, Matthew Willenberg. And you can hear a pin drop. All right, Clark, Joseph Schooling shooting for a 50.8 or faster. What does he need to be at the 50 in order to get that time? So in the 100 free, so I went on 23.4. I'd say typically he's pretty close to that first 50 of his, of his 100 free with his 100 fly. He's looking pretty strong right here. He was 50.7 in practice, rumor has it, out in 23.4. So if he's anywhere near that. Joseph Schooling, 23.76 on the way out. So he needs to right, be he's home. He's going to have to book it coming home. And about 26 even, or sorry, 27 even to go underneath that time. We'll see what he does. My prediction, 50.91. Macklin's prediction, 50.66. And Trip Cooper's hanging on pretty tight here. Look at this. But look at Joe go. Let's see what he gets home. His head he's down. Wow, and he really advanced there. Joseph schooling, 50.96. Oh. Just 11 one hundredths of a second off the fastest time in the world this year. Wow, Joseph schooling. What a race. An all around great swim from everybody in that heat. 50.9 to win from Joe, but Trip Cooper 52 13. He's visibly not shaving. Yeah, so schooling there. It, it, it's hard to say, but can he be disappointed with that? I don't think he can be. I think personally he can be disappointed that he did.